don't be afraid to reach out to investors early. Um, you can't do biotech without money, sadly. Um, and you'll find that the best investors in the field are really happy to give you time to help you to sort of scale up and understand what you're trying to do. When you present, present to investors and don't worry too, too much whether they're the exact match because the more practice you have in the early stages, the better. And events like this really help you hone your pitch, hone your ideas and hone how you express yourself. Funding uh, externally doesn't only come in, in in the form of cash, but it also comes in form of a range of expertise that adds value to the company and grows the company. You want to try and find people who really understand what you're trying to do, um, intellectually in terms of the science, but also emotionally in terms of building a business. We are human beings transacting with human beings. As much as a founder is looking for investment, the investor is looking for a founding team that they want to invest in and bring ROI for their fund. You talk to a lot of investors in order to get your investment round. It's just getting that sweet spot between telling them what we're doing and what the opportunities are um, and going out and getting that money was, was tricky balance. One of the problems we found as a tech bio company is either they're biotechs and they don't quite understand the deep tech AI stuff that we're doing or the AI or the, the deep tech investors and they don't understand the life sciences. I think at the moment fundraising can be tough because of the sort of financial landscape uh, at the moment. So it's really important for early stage companies that they show to their potential investors that they're really producing value in the short term as well as in the long term. So if you invest in the life science industry, you're really investing into the future. Uh, life science solutions are gonna be necessary uh, as humanity grows and you're also investing in something that's real and tangible.